Oh, it's, uh, it's tough out there. Jack Lawson's crew is pulling some problem pipe from an oil well just outside Drayton Valley. Neighbors' services would normally have several service rigs working to keep the oil flowing. Lawson's crew is the only one on the job. The other guys, they're down six, seven hundred hours for the year, like, and, you know, that's a lot of money out of their pockets kind of thing. And the work is still there, it's just the oil companies are not doing it because they're not making the money to, to do their thing. It's very different from just a year ago, when there was too much work and not enough workers. It's just the crash of the oil prices that affected us the big way. Mel Hansen had 20 people working for him last year. The heavy equipment operator is now down to two part-timers. 90% of his business has dried up in just two months. Now all my hired people are gone, and we just got a couple of cats running part-time. Times are tough in the town that calls itself the oil capital of the world. Uh, Drayton Valley is still a busy little community. Uh, not like it was a couple years ago. We have seen people leave. Uh, I think we've seen some people move into Fort McMurray. And like the sculpture outside the town office, Drayton Valley is pulling together, remaining optimistic. The oil industry, some of the, you know, the service industry, uh, the trucking industry, they're still busy. They're still going. They're, um, they're doing well. There's no new drilling in the area, only a few service rigs keeping things up and running. So I say when you know, things pick up. It won't pick up until the oil lease come up or whatever. So until the oil come starts making more money, they'll, they'll just ride it out probably. But there is a feeling this downturn didn't have to be so hard. Sure, oil and natural gas prices have dropped and the economy is in free fall. But many here are angry at the provincial government for changes to its royalty regime. Oh, it's definitely damaged with the royalties. There was some slow ups happening then already. I believe with the problem we're having in the states with their economy already and for our government to bring in a royalty issue and change royalties at the time that the states was having trouble did not help us in Canada. Like others in the area, Shane Sanderman isn't convinced the province needed to tinker with royalties. From what I gathered of it, if the government just stayed more on top of the way it was, it probably would have been fine. It sounded like they kind of weren't doing their due diligence and collecting all of that they needed to collect. Instead of upping the royalties, they could have just done a better job on that. The royalties have had an effect, and of course, low oil prices have had an effect. At a recently opened restaurant in town, Ken Cameron questions whether the Premier or his energy minister really understand the conventional oil and gas business. We may have created the opportunity for companies to look to greener pastures and some of that's good for British Columbia and good for Saskatchewan and we applaud them but the fact is that as Albertans we're not as quite as busy as we should be. Alberta's energy minister admits the new royalty framework can be tied to the turmoil but Mel Knight says the new royalty framework's price sensitive features can actually lower royalties for some companies leaving them better off in the short term. Tough times aren't really new in the conventional oil and gas business. There have been booms and busts before, but for many in the patch, this latest downturn brings back bad memories of the NEP. How's the mood of, uh, this one compares with 1981, because 1981 we were busy right up till D-Day, and then it just went bang, you're done. And this one is very similar. A pirate's flag flies high over Rig 14 one of the few service rigs operating here. A few kilometers away, flags flutter on rigs waiting for work. A storage yard filled with nearly a dozen service rigs at what should be the busiest time of the year. In and out. Yep. Uh, now it has slowed up, as you see, there's lots of them in the yard. I've went from four service rigs to one. But it doesn't stop the there for Jerry Jeffcott. He also owns a hotel, golf course, and restaurant. His hotel business has dropped by half. You don't have as many rigs going. The hotel is slower. And like I say, and the traffic down the highway slowed up, where you normally have them stop in for meals. There's just not as much traffic. 
Dave Solomon worries some of his workers will go back home to Atlantic Canada and never return to Drayton Valley. Their families are at home and he's here working, paying good rent, thinking he was going to bring his family here and make a go of it. Now the downturn, it's, it's kind of got quite a few guys thinking, thinking otherwise. It's a scene playing out in many Alberta communities, in towns where oil and gas are the economic lifeblood. In Drayton Valley, Rick Donkers, CalgaryHerald.com.